Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. point.
deploying. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserved it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. Goodbye, Shepard.
Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Tin Hut! That is. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no. We had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering... Commander Shepard, sorry to bother you. This is Lieutenant Girard down in the docking bay. There is a woman here. Uh, she was rescued from Batarian slavers a few weeks ago. She is from Mindwar. I guess she was taken in the raid on your town. She's been a slave for the past 13 years? Is she all right? Not really. She's a little messed up. She got free somehow, grabbed a gun from one of my guys. Now she's holed up here in the docking bay. She, uh, she says she wants to die. I hoped you'd talk to her. It's a long shot, but you went through the same thing. The raid. I figured maybe you could talk her out of her tree. I'm on my way, Lieutenant. Sit tight. 
Anything you could do would be great. I don't want to. Uh, she's been through enough. I'll have my men stand by for you. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle... Commander, glad to see you. Wish it were under better circumstances. Where is she? Behind those shipping containers. I've got a sniper position, but I don't think we'll need him. She's only a danger to herself. We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. You seem awfully worried about her. I... I I'm just doing my job, Commander. I hope I don't need it. Tell your men to stand by. Don't push her too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger, back off. Or walk away. I'm willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. Stop! Stop! What are you... What are you? My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. What's your name? Animals don't get names. The Masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. You're not an animal. Your parents. What did they call you? Do you remember them? She remembers a lot of things. Talitha. They call her that. She... She doesn't remember the rest. Leave her alone. What's the last thing you remember from Mindwar? Fires. Smells of smoke and burning meat. Animals screaming as the masters cage them. As they put the metal to their backs. Put the wires in their brains. She pretends to be dead. If she's dead, she can't work. But they know! She hopes they'll leave. But they put her in the pen. She didn't fight. She was already broken when they put the wires in. Talitha, you were what, six years old? No one blames you for staying quiet and hoping they'd go away. The only person blaming you is you. She wants to believe that. She wants to believe nothing would change. She doesn't want to be there anymore. In the pen, in the cages, lying quiet while they do things to her. What happened to your parents? There's... She sees them. They're yelling, run, hide! They hit the masters. But the masters, they have lights and hoses. Daddy's... He's melting! Shh! She doesn't want to see that! Don't make her look! Don't look! Stupid! Stupid! I know it hurts, Talitha. I'm sorry. But you need to deal with this. What happened to them? Think. When she thinks, water comes out of her eyes. The Masters beat her when she wastes water. So she doesn't think anymore. She sees them. Mommy and Daddy. Burning in white light, melting, going to pieces. They can't even say anything to her. They're dead, Shepard. They try to save her and the Masters burn them. Can she stop remembering now, please? I'm going to take a step towards you now, okay? She's no good! Don't want to be handled again! How did you get here? 
Did you escape? She can't escape. They have chains, wires, needles. You go too far, they take your brains away. Animals like her come. Animals with guns. They make the masters explode. She tries to fix the masters so they won't be mad at her. She puts all the reds and purples back in, but they don't move. The other animals take her. You were afraid. All you'd known for 13 years was the master's abuse. So you tried to heal them. She doesn't want to see other animals. They're not real. They can't be real. They can't see her. If the animals can see her, then this is real. But it can't be. The wires, the chains, the hitting. This doesn't happen to her. It's another girl. A dirty girl. Stupid girl. She deserves it. It happens to her. Doesn't it? They see her, so it's real. She doesn't want it to be real. I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? She doesn't want... Don't touch her! I was on Mindwar. My parents died in the raid. Lying! You get hit for lying! Get the buzz or the burning! Can't be there. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Broken. Only fit to dig and carry. For a while, I was broken. I lost my whole family, Talitha. My friends. My childhood. I had to pull myself up and keep going. You lose your mommy and daddy, but you don't dig, you don't carry. You stand up. She wishes she could stand up. I'm going to take a step towards you now. Okay? Please don't touch her. She's dirty. You'll catch it. Talitha, this will make you sleep. If you fall asleep, they'll take you to a place where you can get better. Will she have bad dreams? You'll dream of a warm place, and when you wake up, you'll be in it. She'd like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... Me. But she wants to remember. Is it over, Commander? She took the sedative. She wants to get better, Lieutenant. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. I didn't want to hurt her. It's just... when I see her curled into a ball and shivering... She was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? Bad things happen to good people, Lieutenant. That's why you and I are here. Don't wring your hands over her. Help her. Yes, sir. Thanks for your help, Commander. We are taking her to a counseling center. They'll help her get better. Saren was one of the most respected Turians in the galaxy, Garrus. Are you gonna be okay going up against him? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Just keep saying that, especially to humans. We've got a lot of angry people right now. Commander Shepard? Kalisa been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. 
With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Hold on. It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not going to be part of it. Excuse me. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. Isn't it true you're just a shill for the Council? <sighs> Hello, Commander. I'll open the rare stocks. Commander Shepard? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Hello again. Is there a problem? I'm not detecting any signals from the bug yet. I'm not going to plant this bug. This isn't a good idea. Why not? The controllers need someone to tell their story, and the public deserves to know. It's all under control. Were you truly concerned, or just digging for ratings? No, of course not. I'm trying to protect public safety. I'm trying to help people. I'll have to rethink this story. Maybe if I sell this tough workers in a thankless job, they'd give me an interview. Here, thanks for investigating and for new information. I'm going to talk to my publisher. No, I'm wait- Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher moth. A thresher moth? That's not- 
My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I've had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a... I chose to keep the medical tradition... Let me take a look at of what course. you have for... Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see.
Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. This isn't a proof of purchase. It's a bank statement. It shows I bought something from you. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. I wonder if the captain knows him. We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you.
welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slavers. Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic... Tell me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Telling you, this is not what Jake would. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister in law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. 
But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. For what it's worth, I think you should consider undergoing the therapy. I don't care what you think. Who are you anyway? It's my child. It's my decision. Wouldn't your husband have wanted to give the baby a better chance than he had? But what if it ends up killing a child who would never have developed the condition? What then? Then you'll know you did all you could to keep your baby safe. That's all you can do. Don't you understand? I can't lose this baby. This... This is all I have left of him. And you and that baby are all I have left of Jacob. I can't lose you. Either of you. Not after this. Then why didn't you just say that instead of yelling at me? I was scared. I'm sorry. If it means that much to you... If you trust that it's the right thing, I'll do the therapy. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess we needed an outside person to talk some sense into both of us. Hello, Commander. I'll open the rare stock. Do you feel that your training in the human military prepared you well for your duties, Gunnery Chief? Uh, trying to take down a rogue Spectre and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Looking for supplies? 
Let's see you what bet, you got. Commander. Looking for supplies? You bet, Commander. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. I don't blame you for walking out on her. Sir, she was gonna make me look bad no matter what I said. You're probably right. I guess it could have gone a lot worse. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me.
You must die! All clear, Commander. Come <laughs> on. 